Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. My name is Daisy, and this is Daisy's Digital Diary. So in today's video, um, it was going to be a vlog originally, but I didn't vlog enough on the day, so I'm going to put some little inserts of me talking. Um, I'm just explaining the process of my little photo shoot I did with my friends. So we were doing a gothic photo shoot inspired by a lot of the gothic trends that are going on on the catwalk and also because I did English literature at A level. I thought it'd be really cool to channel that into my photography as well. Um, so that's where the gothic themed photo shoot came into play. Um, I've been planning this shoot for a really long time. In lockdown I was able to plan loads of different shoots and this was one of those that I planned. So this photo shoot I made a Pinterest board for it. Here is said Pinterest board and then from this Pinterest board I printed out some of the photos to put in my sketchbook. So here's the page itself. Up here we've got some examples from the Gucci catwalks in 2020 I think it was. So around the like catwalk images I just noted down some of my favourite um, things that I noted from the photos. Another one of the styling inspirations was Red Velvet's Psycho and Red Velvet's Monster as well. I collaged some of their photos from their photo books and from their like teaser photos on here and then um, after that I planned all this photo shoot and I was nearly ready to go and then I started watching the online fashion shows from this um, season so fall winter 21 and there was um, a gorgeous fashion show by Dior um, I'll link it down below it is a gorgeous gorgeous show would very much recommend um, but in that show they um, it's called what was it called Dior Disturbing Beauty um, something in French I'm not sure the basis of it was the duality of fairy tales and I'll link the explanation video down below, but she creates this most amazing contrast between the pretty fairy tales that we're used to and the dark underbelly of them. And I think that's a really key important point of gothic literature is this duality. And I wanted to create that in my photo shoot, similarly to Dior. So in the Dior show, they had um, long socks and these amazing boots. Um, we took the inspiration for the long socks and used this, that in our styling. And then underneath here is the Celine menswear show. Again, an amazing show. I think I'm going to use this as inspiration for another whole photo shoot, but I thought I would collage it here because it does have those kind of gothic undertones. They have a lovely way of marrying like classic silhouettes with more modern twists. I absolutely loved here. I absolutely loved the way they used free collars with like leather jackets. It was just so clever and I thought, why have I never done that before? So I've been collecting pieces for a shoot inspired by this. But it did also inspire the gothic shoot because, you know, it's keeping to those kind of same gothic themes. So that's that for my sketchbook and the inspirations. So other styling models, again, we see the frilly collar that was taken inspiration from the Gucci Fall Winter 2020 show. And then we've also got these two black dresses. I bought these back in September. Um, they're both from Primark. I absolutely love them. They're so pretty. I was quite worried as to how to make these dresses look different because they're both quite similar silhouettes so they're quite long quite baggy i tried to use accessories to make them very separate from one another so as you can see katie's wearing the frilly collar alicia's got this um heart chain which is definitely a modern twist um, i just absolutely love this look it reminds me of something like like a gothic girl scout is what i called it when i was trying on she's also wearing a beret because you can never go what wrong with a beret i love a beret as you can see i'm wearing one right now katie was wearing really nice long socks on the day so we, st we sticked with those and we also stuck with her arm warmers um, they're really cool. I just like the way they added a little extra layer. And then also, Alicia's wearing some lace gloves. I got these ones from AliExpress. They're just such a staple in my fashion photography wardrobe now. Um, and she's also wearing pearls on top of that because I've been seeing pearls everywhere, especially in K-pop styling. So I decided to take that and use that a lot in this photo shoot as well. Um, but yeah, that is the styling for the gothic photo shoot sorted. I did a little time lapse on the day of shooting. So roll VT. Roll tape. Roll time lapse.
that was a little behind the scenes, a little inside my brain moment of my gothic photo shoot. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm hoping to make more of these videos and more little vlogs behind the scenes of my photo shoots. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope to see you in another one. Bye!